Hello guys, SFRTA here with me is Amtrak Fanatic. And Amtrak Lover Zero Two. Okay. We're doing a product review of the new Walther's Phase 4B Cafe car. I already took it out of the box and with it right next to it is the Walther's non-plated Amfleet 2 uh, Phase 4B Cafe car and it's also Phase 4B and we're doing a product comparison of the two cars. Now as you can see the there's a very obvious difference the you know there's more detailing on the shell it's much more brighter than the uh, the cafe car from the 40th anniversary I'm going to show you this uh, Amtrak Lover Zero 2 that's the uh, old this is the new one Okay. Can I want to pull it down a bit? Yeah. Can you see it okay? Yep. Okay, that's the new. And then also there's a, a another big difference. The uh, cafe car from the current run uh, has an interior. The cafe car does not. Um, also, the windows are not tinted on the uh, cafe car. Now, I'm going to actually show you something really that's cool. Be that's because um, the wa the run that they did just now with the plated cars has an interior and it's made to put lights in, so the windows are not as tinted. The 40th anniversary cars, um, there's a it's a bare interior, so they have the windows really tinted, which is more realistic uh, to me than the plated ones. Not the shell itself, just the windows, because, you know, if you go see a train go by, the windows are very tinted. You can't see in, and not even—I mean, not, barely even at night, you can barely see it. So, yeah, that is true. The re cars in real life are tinted. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate to you guys another neat feature of this car. Okay. It is lighted. This is a uh, car that came pre-lit with a uh, has a, uh, a a light uh, a, the it has the light uh, kit uh, pre-installed into the car, factory installed. Uh, I got it. I had it. Uh, custom I or I ordered the car with the kit in it and uh, that that's one of the one of the cool things about it too the detailing on the bottom I've noticed uh, Amtrak fanatic there's a lot more detail on these current run cars on the bottom than on the 40th anniversary cars I don't know if you noticed that but I have that there's a lot more detail on the undercarriage than compared to the uh, Ford yeah, anniversary. Yeah, I noticed that as well too. And, and I do. I know a lot of people out there are really detail picky like that. Not me. I mean, when your train is running on the layout, I mean, obviously I want the most detail I can get. But when it comes to prices, the pricing and everything, you know, you don't see the underbody on when it's running on your layout unless you have it going over a bridge and you actually you look up and see the train uh, you don't see the bottom of the train so I mean it, I mean uh, I yeah so yeah and I notice also guys the roof details a little more detailed with the vents right here it's those two, the vents on the top part of the car, they're a little more detailed than on the 40th anniversary cars, I've also noticed. Uh, this little uh, oval-shaped thing 
right there. I, 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 to be totally honest, I don't know what that is. But what is it? It's a little oval shaped thing on top of the cafe car. That is, um, I think that's a refrigeration unit kind of thing or an air vent. I know what it is, I just can't really explain it. Okay. It's just an air vent. It's a smokestack, actually. Oh, it's I have no idea. Okay. So, that part is also a little more detailed on the car. I'm also going to show 790 Amtrak the car. Hold on, hold, hold on. <coughs> oh, YouTube, while uh, he's doing that, um, I recently completed decaling my, well, numbering my uh, HO Scale Horizon uh, cafe car in Phase 4B, so... Uh, um, I'll have to do a YouTube video, and I don't think I've ever let you let you guys know this, but I mean I don't think I've ever told you guys this, but I do not have a layout anymore. I, I, I I'll make a separate YouTube video of that, so that that's another time. Um, let's. Um, Okay, so, 7 I Amtrak. I I for some reason I can't get my video to work on my phone. Um, so, uh, I guess I'll show you that at a later time. But yes, uh, let's, uh, get this video finished off here. So, the Amfleet 2, the, the plated car, is a lot more detailed than the, um, cafe car with the 40th anniversary. However, as I said in the previous video, that I wouldn't sell my coach car from the 40th anniversary same applies for this cafe car it's not for sale i i do love the 40th anniversary car it means a lot to me and i i just can't sell it so you know i mean you i mean obviously you can ask if you want but the answer is going to be no because i'm not selling this cafe car um but they're like they're both very good cars. Uh, I think they Walters did a very good job on the uh, plated cars. The one thing though we need to mention, guys, about the Amfleets, you have to lubricate them. Absolute months. That's with the coach cars, the cafe cars, Amfleet one, Amfleet two. You have to lubricate them. I personally use Lavelle 107 oil on the cars because Lavelle 107 conducts electricity it's conductive and it just works very well on lubricating the cars so I personally use Lavelle 107 to lubricate the cars but you do have to lubricate it is a must you do have to lubricate the cars because they do squeak and if you don't lubricate them, you will mess the car up. So you have to lubricate. Right, uh, Amtrak Fanatic? Yes, yes, sir. And I'm the one who told uh, SFRTA that. Yes, you have to lubricate them. Hey, SFRTA, I'll show you my um, Dyna car now. Okay. Oh, uh, it's not working. Here, let me call. Let me hang up and call you right back. Uh, Seven night eight a.m. track. Hold on. All right. Yeah, because we're having technical difficulties. Do apologize. Hey, uh, we are running a little long on this. I know. Video, just YouTube. Uh, sorry about the length of the video. We just kind of like doing videos. So if you uh, are getting a little pissed about the length of this video, click out of it and go do something better. And do, don't you don't just don't. Uh, dare to come in and say the videos are too long. If you want to do that, go screw yourself. Because that, that's just rude. It ruins the fun of making videos for YouTube and it hurts feelings most of the time. So don't. Yeah. Don't don't make the comments, please. Alright. 798 Amtrak is back with us. So I'm going to turn on my video. Okay, so...
There we go. Okay, those are the cars right here. 7 a.m. track. Can you hear me? Okay. So. Sorry again, YouTube, for the technical difficulties. I can hear you, man. Okay, you can hear. Okay, so yeah, this is the. Uh, those are the uh, cars we're doing a video on. And uh, yeah, so you wanted to show something uh, to uh, YouTube? Yeah, all right, here. It's my dying car I just got today, it came in the mail. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, it just came in the mail today. It's really nice. Yeah. I have uh, three of those. Those are very good looking cars, yes. Yeah, they are. I do too. Alright. <clears throat> That's why I showed you guys. Okay, uh, guys, uh, on behalf of Team Amtrak South Florida Division and Team Amtrak North Division, this is SFRTA and... Uh, Amtrak Fanatic. And... Amtrak Uh, and, uh, Amtrak Zero Two, uh, signing off. No, say it. Starting off. Okay. Bye.